Ezra, thank you. It has been nearly a month since 28-year-old Wilma Acosta went missing after leaving a bar late at night in Old Town. Well, now Acosta's family is connecting with the families of five other women who were found dead around the metro area this year to find comfort in an uncertain time and keep their spirits high during their efforts to find her. Fox News' Connor McCarthy spoke with the family today. He joins us live at Tom McCall Park, where Acosta was last seen. Well, Riel, it was at the Japanese American Historical Plaza that Wilma Acosta's phone last pinged, and since then she has not been found. Now, Portland police has said from the beginning uh, that Acosta had a history of depression and suicidal ideations. Now, her family says that is simply not true, and Acosta's family is now connecting with the families of others here in the metro area who have had a similar experience this year. All around Governor Tom McCall Waterfront Park near Old Town, missing person posters hang on light posts and trees with the name and face of 28-year-old Wilma Acosta. It was at the Japanese American Historical Plaza where her phone was found, but Acosta could not be located. She was very happy. She just bought a Dalmatian dog. She got the car that she wanted, a Jeep. She had appointments to, to go on vacation in two weeks. Nearly a month after Wilma went missing, family and friends gathered outside of City Hall, demanding Portland police do more to find her. I'm not anti-police, I'm pro-police. I back the blue. I'm nothing against that. It's just the women out here, my sister, they, they, there needs to be more help out here. Wilma's brother, Michael Lopez, says he would have never thought he and his family would be in the situation, looking for a sister who just moved to Portland from San Jose, California, to work at Kaiser Permanente. It feels like I guess anyone could be in this situation. You're never going to know when to expect it or see it. Wilma was last seen right after Thanksgiving, leaving Dixie's Tavern shortly after 2 a.m. Portland police say the video shows her walking up to the seawall along the Willamette River. They believe she had suicidal ideations and depression, which they noted in their initial media release, something Lopez says his family strongly disputes. Someone stopped her from point A to point B. She was on her way home. Someone stopped her from point A to B. I, I know that. You know, it's just uh, getting the, the proof of that. Or let's just say they were accurate, right? And they said, they went there. where's the dive team? I don't see no dive team. They never went in there to go search. To help find answers, Wilma's family reached out to the United Justice Group, a group created by the families of the five women who went missing, then found dead around the metro area this year. We know we can only do so much to help, but whatever that is, we're going to fight right alongside this family, and we will be heard. For Melissa Smith, Kristen Smith's mother, meeting Wilma's family Friday was even more important because it's the one-year anniversary of when she filed a missing persons report for her daughter. We have a person of interest in our case for these girls, and I have made it known I'm not giving up. I will not give up, and I will fight till my death for justice for my daughter. And if I have to come out here and help these other families, and be heard, so be it. We're doing it. We're not giving up, but we need help. Portland police sent Fox 12 a statement that reads in part, quote, the Portland Police Bureau's missing persons unit has been dogged in its approach to determining what happened to Wilma. Our detectives have spent more than 100 hours interviewing witnesses and examining footage for more than a dozen security cameras. During her walk, it does not appear that Wilma engaged with any other people. Ultimately, PPB's evidence shows Wilma leaving the bar herself and arriving at the seawall by herself. PPB detectives do not suspect foul play in Wilma's disappearance. We hope Wilma's family and friends are able to find closure soon. Wilma's family says there's more to her disappearance and they won't give up until they get answers. It seems like um, we're just left in the dark and not getting no answers. and. We need help. We need the voices to be heard for all these women. On top of my, my sister, like, I feel she's not getting no attention, no help. My stomach is twisting, turning, like having nightmares because I don't know what else to do um, besides what we're doing, just try to get, get the word out. L'Oreal family and friends will be gathering in front of the Duck Store in Old Town to do a walk handout, missing persons posters, and meet at Central Precinct as well as City Hall to demand police do more to help find Wilma. Now, the family does have a GoFundMe to help raise money for their search efforts and also any expenses that the family might have while they stay here in Portland because they are all from California. If you'd like to donate, you can go to our website, kptv.com. Live in Northwest Portland, Connor McCarthy, Box for Oregon.